Hey guys, what's up? It's Learning Why Joe. Finally here with the deck profile for my Elemental Hero Neo Spatian Jaden character deck. And I have to be honest, this is probably the best Jaden character deck you're ever going to see. Um, it is the best. Um, no, no, no doubt about it. It is nostalgic. It is playable. It is good. Um, let's get into it. So first we're going to be looking at the main deck. Um, we're starting off with three, yes, I said three Stratos. I don't understand why some people aren't playing three of him. Summoning him gets you directly to Spirit of Neos. Uh, searching him through E-Call, searching him through uh, Hero Lives. You know, best, best searcher. So three of him. Two copies of the OG Neos. Three is too much. Uh, we're running, we're running Neos Fusion, so one is not enough. Um, this is our nostalgic package here, Avion and Bristinatrix, one of each, because, I mean, come on, you're making a Flame Wingman-based boss monster, you gotta have these guys. Plus, uh, they're actually good for Grand Merge, so we'll get into that in a little bit. Two copies of Spirit of Neos, one is not enough, again, three is way too bricky, and one copy of Honest Neos for Attack Boost, one copy of Blazeman, one copy of the Liquid Soldier, and one copy of Shadow Mist. So being that again, we're playing three Stratos, we're playing three E-Call and three Hero Lives, you don't need these guys at more than one because they're easily searched. So more than one is just too much. Uh, one copy of the Neospatian Aqua Dolphin and one copy of Air Hummingbird. These guys are my Neospatian nostalgic package, and you will see why I'm referring to them as nostalgic packages when I get more into the side deck as to, you know, what you can do with them. Uh, and last but not least, three copies of Crosskeeper. This card should have been both treated as an elemental hero and a Neospatian at the same time. Um, would have just made sense, would have made it searchable, would have made it a lot better. But it is solid at three because he's very versatile and works with every card in your deck. So there isn't anything that you're going to draw that he can't be activated in Special Summon. Uh, off to the spells. So guys, make sure you peep the rarities too. Everything here is max rarity. We are maxed the fuck out here. We've got a Hero Lives, triple copies, ulti rare, first dead. Triple copies of E-Call. It's literally a non-hard ones per turn searcher that you can just search everything for, so why not? Triple copies of Instant Contact. It literally special summons anything from our extra deck, um, barring a few targets, so it's pretty solid. Triple copies of Neos Fusion. It is protection, plus it is literally, like, it's Fusion Destiny, but for Neos. Triple copies of EN, Engage Neo Space. This is our second best starter. I guess, I guess these guys are, ah, uh, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like a Hero Lives might be a better starter, but I mean, it's up to debate. And triple copies of EN Shuffle. This card is not yet in the TCG, but when I build my decks, I like to build them for like finality. So I know we're getting this card and I know we're getting Wake Up. So I'm just gonna build with those in mind. Um, makes sense for me to do that. One copy of Miracle Fusion, one copy of Miracle Contact, one copy of Poly, and last but not least, one copy of Favorite Contact. So Favorite Contact pretty much does what Miracle Contact does, just in trap form, and it allows us, it allows us to use the Banish Zone. So, has its ups and doesn't have really a lot of downs, it's more ups. So that's good. Um, that's going to round it off for the main. It's a 40 card main. I'm running no hand traps. I'm running no really big board breakers in the main, but we'll get to board breakers here in a minute. Um, we're going to go ahead and talk about the extra deck. So in our extra deck, we are playing one copy of Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. He is a Elemental Hero Fusion plus a Warrior Monster. And he gains attack equal to the amount of fusion monsters used as material. So, uh, off to the nostalgic package of the extra deck. Ultimate Rare Tempest. Ultimate Rare Wild Edge. Ultimate Rare Shining Flare Wingman. All first dead, all near mint, all gorgeous. 
two copies of the Elemental Hero Shining Neo Swingman. I, I've seen people play three. I've seen people play one. I feel like two is the best number because if you have one in grave, you can actually favorite contact or miracle contact one back to the deck to summon the other one and like recycle. So you, I don't really think you need that third copy there. Uh, one I feel like is definitely not enough because you do kind of want to use him as an interruption um, if needed, I guess. One Nebula Neos. I feel like my cards aren't straight. Uh, one Nebula Neos. One Air Neos. Ultimate Rare First Ed. Uh, one Brave. Bump the camera. I really wish we'd get him in a higher rarity than fucking super rare. Uh, one. Oh, hold on, hold on. We gotta make sure that we see that this is not the silver stamp. Can we see that gold stamp? That's a gold stamp First Ed. Flame Wing Man. And this is uh, more nostalgia because, like, dude, that's why you're playing this deck. Thunder Giant, Rampart Blaster, uh, Sunrise, Grand Merge, who's actually pretty decent, and a Wonder Driver. So before I get into the side, you're probably thinking, how do you get him, 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 and him out when you don't play half the material? Well, we're running multiple normal monsters, and Grand Merge exists. There's actually a combo where you can get him out with Engage. But, I, because I don't play the material in my main, doesn't mean I don't play them in my side. Let's take a look at the side deck. Again, we're talking nostalgia to the max. So, we are playing one Blade Edge, one Bubble Man, one Wild Heart, one Prisma, one Clayman, one Sparkman, one Dank Panther, one Grand Maul, triple copies of Lightning Storm because we fucking hate Floodgates, one copy of Skyscraper, two copies of Favorite Hero, and one copy of Favorite Contact. So take a minute to digest and kind of, you know, unpack everything in front of us here. So when I was going through the deck profile, I said I had a nostalgic package. That's these guys. So what we do is when we're going up against a certain opponent that may, you know, or if I just want to show off some flair and, and summon off Thunder Giant, I take these guys out, sub these two in, okay? If I want to make Tempest, I take out Percinatrix, uh, maybe Aqua Dolphin, throw these guys in, okay? If I want to go for Wild Edge Turbo, take these guys out, Put these two in. It's very simple. That's why I refer to this as the nostalgic package because I can just sub these guys out for what I need. Um, the other nostalgic package, the Neospatians. So you may have saw Nebula Neos. Now, I had a couple people comment on one of the videos I made um, talking about how I shouldn't use Wonder Driver and I should be using Infernal Divisor because he searches you support. I don't want to rely on a link in this deck to be one of my main searchers, simply because Engage conflicts with it. So what I'd rather do is use Engage, sub in Prisma and these two guys, and make Nebula Neos. So I can take these two out, take these out, put these in, Nebula Neos, bam. Um, if I'm going up against a Floodgate guy, I've got Lightning Storm. Um, I would take, I would reduce some of the Neos cards Take Instant Contact, Neos Fusion, and, and Shuffle down to two of each. Put those in. Uh, same with this. If you have something that targets or if you just want to, you know, be nostalgic, take a copy of each out, throw these guys in. If you're going first, like if you got a side to go first and you want a better chance of seeing Favorite Contact, sub this in. So guys, that's the main deck, side deck, extra deck. You guys have seen the test hands. This thing here is nostalgic as hell. And it's actually pretty solid. Um, it does well online. I haven't played it uh, in person yet, but I've played against some pretty solid decks. And I literally played against Scythe Lock yesterday. This dude was playing Pendulums. 
He had Baron de Fleur on field. He had Scythe. He had Appaloosa, and I beat him. Like, it's a solid deck. Is it meta? No. Can it compete with the meta? It can compete with more competitive decks. I don't think it will. This will make like this kind of deck um, won't make like a top in any regionals. Locals, you'll do fine. Um, depending on your locals, I mean, even regionals, you you may do okay with a deck like this, but you're not, you know, you're not winning much higher than that. Um, but guys, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me about this deck. Tell me what your build looks like. Maybe tell me if there's areas where, hey, maybe you should play two of this instead of three. Let me know. Learning YGO, out.